New update. Meg infuriates Invictus Games crew with a $91,610 outfits in total. Veterans boycott. Angela Levin has claimed that the Invictus Games contestants, as well as its organisers, are not pleased with the negative attention Meghan Markle brings to the cause. The royal expert took to X, formerly Twitter, to reveal that the former military personnel, presumably injured veterans taking part in the competition, and organisers of the event are fed up with Markle, drawing away from the attention from the Games. She went on to reveal their fury over the former actress leading a parade of winning wounded men in inappropriate dressing. An increasing number of ex-military and the Invictus Games organisers are fed up that the attention's now largely on Megan, Levin claimed. Last year, they were furious that she led a march of winning wounded men in very short shorts, which they found insulting. They don't want them to come, the expert added. Megan recently accompanied her husband, Prince Harry, and the founder of Invictus Games to Canada to commemorate the upcoming series of games in Vancouver and Whistler. According to a new update from a source on X, Megan spent three days at Invictus Games with $91,610 for her outfits in total, in which day one was $11,795, day two $44,825, and the final day $34,990. Day one. This first event started out with a reasonably priced coat and a significant amount of rewear. That evening, the Sussexes visited the First Nations. Not many photos were released, but it is interesting to note that Hello Magazine has an ID for a shirt and trousers, even though they aren't visible, or hardly visible in these photos. Later in the evening, the Sussexes were spotted leaving Caminetto's restaurant. We see a Laura Piana jacket and a new Valentino bag. I am assuming the trousers and shirt are the same from earlier in the evening. Day two begins with a visit to the Mount Curry Community Centre. No one seems to have identified her shirt, but I feel very comfortable that this is a WNU shirt and she's worn a similar one by this label before. We do see her Burke stack rings make an appearance as well as a new diamond bangle. Day two continues with a visit to the Whistler Sliding Centre and a new Hermes jacket. Much like the Hermes pieces worn in Dusseldorf, this isn't current season and I have a feeling that like the Dusseldorf pieces, it was vintage sourced. Day two closed with dinner at VG's restaurant with a sweater, coat and earrings with more than $2,500 in total. Day three saw the Sussexes at a wheelchair curling event with all new outfits. What a vulgar display of wealth around veterans who probably struggle at times to pay their bills. Megan flaunts thousands of dollars worth of clothes and rubs her wealth in their faces. It's not the first time, it's a regular occurrence. She wore $17,000 worth of jewellery, not including a watch and wedding ring, to visit a Native American community centre that's so offensive. Just so, so offensive. That would provide hot lunches there for a year. Add to that that the private jet flights, hotel suites, swanky meals, other transport, pet photographers, etc. She doesn't care about Invictus or the veterans. This was a relaunch of herself as a royal. Invictus now has some questions to answer. We already know the answers though, or... They would have gotten ahead of the outrage by stating they weren't covering the Harkles' luxury expenses.